incompetent to stand trial. We've heard this term plenty of times while in court for an offender. We rarely find out what happens to that offender who's deemed incompetent. So Fox 5's Victoria Saha went digging into this. In this special report, she tells us how the wait time to get into state's mental facility is creating a backlog for inmates needing treatment. Dylan Emmels, known as a star athlete, a teen who was dreaming big as he was on his way to play tennis for Utah State. He played nonstop morning and evening. The future seemed bright for Dylan until the middle of his freshman year. His mom, Sally Emmels, says Dylan just wasn't acting like Dylan anymore. I took him to the emergency room, as I can recall, at least twice, thinking he was on something and um, they tested him and he was completely clean. Clean, but something still wasn't right. Sally says she eventually had Dylan see a psychiatrist who diagnosed him with a serious mental illness. Out of respect for Dylan, Sally does not want to disclose exactly what it is. He's been medically compliant ever since, meaning like taking his meds. He's done a lot of counseling. So you sort of felt like things were okay and you kind of yes. had your old Dylan back. Yes, it's, it's very, it's much better than it was. And he was leading a somewhat normal life. A normal life that came to a shocking halt August of 2023. Police say 26 year old Dylan stabbed a man up to 40 times. I can't tell you what that night was for us. It was horrible and I, I just couldn't believe it. An unprovoked attack that led to Dylan facing attempted murder charges. Oh, I don't know what was going on in Dylan's head, but we found, later found out he, he wasn't on medication, which was a problem. A problem that led to Dylan being found incompetent by the court. He's being represented by criminal defense attorney Josh Tomshak. Competency doesn't come up in every case. Um, when it does, it's almost always an issue. An issue Tom Sheck says he's all too familiar with because he knows it'll be months until his clients who are waiting in jail start their treatment in a competency restoration program, which happens in state-run facilities like Murray Stein. What happens to them inside the jail? A lot of people in that situation, unfortunately, wind up in isolation, in lockdown, in medical housing, um, 23 hours a day away from um, the ability to communicate with anyone. And they're often just in need of treatment and medication that they would receive if they were transported sooner. And their case stays at a standstill. According to Tom Shack, Dylan was waiting here inside the Clark County Detention Center for 124 days before he was transported to Stein. During this time, the jail wasn't able to force medication on him. You've already told him and you've told the world he's not competent, so how are you letting him dictate his medications? He has a history. He sits there in the detention center in a situation where he's isolated, where he doesn't have support, where he doesn't have medical care, and his situation spirals. Dylan isn't alone. According to the state's Division of Public and Behavioral Health, there are 127 inmates waiting to be taken to Stein. The average wait is 123 days. So we asked the state what the issue is. It's the amount of commitments that we're receiving. Too many patients and not enough beds or staff, according to Drew Cross, who's the state's forensic director. Finding qualified staff has always been a challenge, but even on that front, our recruitment uh, efforts have increased. While the state hospital waits to fill the gap, Dylan's mom is hoping things will change. Is there a part of you that's just angry that he had to just sit there to even start getting treatment and not even close to starting, you know, let's say his, what could have been his sentence? I was really upset. I did what I can as a mom. People with mental illness, especially serious mental illness, need to be treated. And they deserve the same treatment like any other person with a serious medical condition. Hoping Dylan will get the treatment he needs and serves the time he deserves, freeing his bed for another inmate who needs it. Victoria Saha, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The state tells Fox 5 the average treatment time for an inmate at one of their mental health facilities is about 96 days. They add that they plan on building another facility that would add 300 more beds, but no word on when that would be completed.